From the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast to part of the Midwest, efforts are underway to identify and eliminate an increasingly invasive insect. Known as one of nature's best hitchhikers, the spotted lanternfly can't actually soar. But since first arriving in the U.S. from China in 2014, this bug has managed to hop to more than a dozen states. This is our biggest new invasive species right now. We've University of Maryland professor Mike Raup, known better as the bug guy, says lanternflies are sucking insects that drain plants of their nutrients. They also excrete a gooey liquid known as honeydew that can lead to mold growth and in some cases attract other insects like ants, wasps and bees. Nests can be harder to spot, often looking like mud. Adult lanternflies, more common starting in late summer and fall, are easily identifiable, growing to about the size of a wine cork. And it really is uh, a nuisance, but in addition to this, it poses a major threat for our grape growers where it's already caused tens of millions of dollars of damage. It's because of that, experts say it's crucial to contain and curb lanternfly populations and prevent them from traveling even further west where they could do serious damage to West Coast wineries. Spotted lanternflies have few predators and while chemical treatments can be effective, <laughs> Researchers say early detection is critical. Teams at Virginia Tech and Texas Tech deploying a more natural approach, hoping dogs could lend a paw and more importantly, their nose to the effort. We think what the dog and handler teams might be really useful for is preventing further spread so that they could go through and check a winery, check the vineyards and make sure that it's there are no egg masses. Good boy. The researchers are teaching the dogs to sniff out and identify lanternfly nests before they hatch. Sally Dickinson's eight year old border collie Flint is part of the project. It's saving my community, it's protecting us against invasive species without having to use large amounts of pesticides, which we know are not great for the environment. And the dog is also getting out there and enjoying doing something that it loves to do too. So all in all, it's just a wonderful activity. So researchers say a lot of people assume you have to have a German Shepherd or Bloodhound to do that kind of work, but they say that is not the case. You can train any kind of dog. Meanwhile, guys, this is egg laying season, so you can put any kind of card or ruler into practice like this, and you scrape off the egg masses from the trees into a bag with hand sanitizer to kill them. Also, I'll leave you with two simple rules. See the spotted lantern fly and squash it. See and squash. <laughs> see and squash. See and squash. See and squash. See and squash. I remember I'll that. I'll with this like all that. day. Smile and wave. See and squash. Thank you. Pepper well, could be this. trained. Yeah. I, yeah, that's right. Let's you finally start to earn a key. Oh. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.